Greetings and happy holidays, friends. Uh, Roger Bowman here. Uh, the topic of this video is going to cover uh, workout or training advice for those over the age of 40. So earlier this year in 2018, I turned the big 4-0 and uh, shortly actually next month, I will be turning 41. So. Uh, a couple of things I've come to realize over the last few years, and more so as time goes on, is that the the way that I train and also train clients, um, it definitely changes with age. You know, I, like many clients that are over the age of 40 and beyond, uh, just simply cannot train in the same fashion as they once did when they were, you know, 20 something years old. I mean, even when I was 30, I didn't quite train like I did when I was 20. And I'm sure when I turn 50 that I won't train like I do now, although I don't think the changes will be quite as um, different as they are at this point from, you know, back in my 20s. So um, jumping into it. So, you know, the, the way that that you train should really be relevant to your age, your goals, and really what you're trying to achieve and um, also, as I will discuss with this video, try to avoid like injuries. So we need to realize that you know we are a bit more prone to injury. We probably are not going to recover from the workouts uh, quite like we used to. So these are a lot of things to take in consideration when putting together your training approach. So first things first, uh, warm ups uh, critically important. Um, you know, just simply doing you know, four or five minute brisk walk on a treadmill and then proceeding to move into a couple of light sets with whatever exercise you're starting off with just to get some blood flow, get things loosened up, get things warm and some to get the body primed and ready for what you're ready to throw at it. Uh, two, and this is one of my biggest things that I really encourage, educate on and talk about with a lot of my clients because for me, a lot of my clients are at or above the age uh, I'd say like mid thirties and, and and well beyond. You know, I'd say my average client is probably in their mid forties. It's pretty average. So, uh, so the way that we train, you know, I always say there's a, a very big difference between working the targeted muscle or simply just moving weight with a lot of force. So, for example, um, you know, we could do. Gosh, I mean, what? Let's just talk, say rows. Um, you know, we could just snap them in and just, you know, hammer in a lot of heavy weight, right? We're, we're, we're moving weight with a lot of different muscles, whether it's just lats or whatnot, or if it's lats and a little bit of everything else because we're swinging or throwing our body into it, there's a difference there. So younger athletes who are simply looking to be explosive with plyometric movements and heavy weights and, you know, doing some, you know, some power training, that's, that's good. That's totally fine for them. But with the individual who's aging, who is really not trained to be an athlete, they are trying to avoid any type of injuries, um, you know, working the targeted muscle is a much more effective approach. And what comes with working the targeted muscle, as I always say, is uh, tempo. So we are not, if, let's just take a bench press for example, we're not just firing it up and then letting the weight drop where we're not fighting the negative or the eccentric, technically speaking, uh, the negative phase of the movement. So we would control our tempo. So we would, you know, we will power through with a great engagement or squeeze in the peak contraction and then controlling or fighting the negative phase of that movement. And again, we, we continue on, you know, with, with this proper tempo. This is also referred to as time under tension. So if we think of the whatever muscle is being worked, we have it engaged through the concentric or positive phase, peak contraction, negative or eccentric phase, and it's just constantly engaged. And we, we work the muscle a lot more effectively from, you know, from a strength building standpoint, but we're also not being ballistic or explosive where we could potentially um, you know, have a little risk of tendon you know, injury or you know, where the muscle bellies insert on the joints and whatnot. From that explosiveness again we're trying to minimize that so you know warm-ups proper approach to training um, those are great starting points um, you know rotating your exercise selection from you know week to week or at least every few weeks 
In other words, you're not doing the same exercises every single time. You rotate and you mix up your exercise selection to where you're working the, you know, your muscles from different angles and in different ways. Um, so those are some of the top ones. Um, above and beyond that, we need to be really honest with ourselves. Uh, you know, we need to realize and be honest that, with ourselves that we're, we're not 22 years old. Um, you know, we're not going to be, uh, you know, um, explosive and big and muscular or whatever like we maybe once were. Our recovery times are going to take longer. We're just going to have to be smarter about, you know, how we approach things. And we also need to be realistic about our results. Um, you know, somebody that's in their prime that, you know, is in their, you know, late 20s or 30, 30s, you know, they may be able to achieve a, a physique that might not be achievable at your age, especially if you're know, just like 50 something or 60 something years old. It may just, it might not just be in the cards for you at this point. And that's okay. You know, we should be happy within ourselves and strive to be the best, best version of ourselves that, that we can be. Um, uh, given that age uh, and these things are working against us, including hormones, and whatnot, prioritizing good, I should say great nutrition and understanding proper nutrient timing can also really go a long, long way um, you know, in your quest to look and feel your best. So uh, what often should, in my opinion, should come along with that um, is having your regular blood work done. And when and if necessary, incorporating supplements. You know, supplements have really come a long way. And for some, they're very, very helpful to kind of fill in the gaps uh, in some areas, you know, that might be lacking and might be needing some support. So these are um, a couple of nuggets to kind of chew on. Uh, again, for, uh, I say, the, the gracefully aging individuals out there that are at or over the age of 40, like yours truly. Um, yeah, so if there's more information that you would like, or if you would like to even schedule a, a private consultation with me, um, by all means, reach out. Uh, let me know how I can help. Uh, always here to, to sincerely do the best that I can for you and, and everybody that I work with. So uh, you can also uh, subscribe, follow me, or connect with me on any social media platform. But I hope that was helpful, guys, and talk to you guys soon. Thank you.